Hey everybody, welcome back. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to build a CCTV server using Express, OpenCV, and Node.js. And of course, some web development to display the images. So basically, what I want to do is I want to be able to run a service on my computer, which continuously takes a picture of my webcam and then has that available for download on a URL. So basically, I should be able to go on my phone and go to my web server and view those webcam images. And this is basically just so I can have a webcam pointing out a window and I can view it from my house or something. So let's go ahead and try to get started with that. So the first thing I point out is I have a folder called CCTV already created. And inside that, I have my node modules installed in my package JSON. I have three dependencies. So you should, if you know node, you should know how to install these. So basically, npm install save express. OpenCV for Node.js and Socket.io. Those are the three dependencies we're going to be using in this project. And at this point, I'm going to try to walk you through three different um, steps for building out this web server. First thing is I'm going to create a web express server to host an index file that displays an image. And then I'm going to bring in Socket.io so I can update that image. And then I'm going to bring in OpenCV so I can read from the webcam and then uh, emit that new webcam image over the wire. So for the first part of the process, I want to create an express server. So I'm going to go ahead and make an index.js file here, which we can run in our terminal down here to start our server. And I need to first import the express server. So I'm going to require the express module. And then I'm going to say uh, const app is equal to express and call it. So I'll create a new express app. And then I can do app.listen on port 3000. And I'm going to create a new endpoint that I can hit. So app.get on the root URL. And that's going to send back a file. So there is a, a, a package or a plugin for Express where you can host a public directory or something like that. But I'm just going to do it the, uh, the easier way. I don't know if it's easier, but pretty straightforward. I'm just going to host a single file. So first, I'm going to require the path node library. And I want to do inside this endpoint for Express, I want to say res.send file. And I just want to point to the file that I want to send. So in this case, we're going to pretend like there's an index.html file that exists in my root directory. And I just want to send it back to the user. So at this point, I should be able to create that new index.html file. Go ahead and just create a very basic template. Um, that should render out something if I were to start my service. So let me just start our server using node index.js. Then I'm going to hit that 3000 port. Okay. So basically step one is almost done. Um, what I want to do instead is I want to actually display an image. So I'm going to do image, uh, give it an ID of image. And then down here, I want my custom script tag. So we're going to write some script. And for now, this, there's just going to be an image DOM element on the page with no image in it. OK, so the first step of the process is done. We have an Express server hosted on port 3000, which returns us back a index file, right? Nothing, nothing too crazy going on there. The next step is we want to bring in socket IO so that we can publish new images over the wire every second or every, I don't know, 30 milliseconds or something like that. So again, I already have socket IO included in my package JSON. So all I need to do is I need to import them. So here I can say const server is equal to require HTTP and then dot server and pass it my app variable. And then I'm going to bring in the socket IO package. So socket.io. And I'm going to pass it that server object that we just created. Now, the main difference, if you're using this approach, you need to make sure you do a server.listen instead of app.listen. So saving that and restarting our service, we should still be able to access that um, hello, just so we can demonstrate that it's working. And everything is still working as is. Now, the main thing we want to do is inside of our server, we want to have an interval so every second or, or less, it's going to send over an image. So to kind of build out the, 
the structure of that, I could do set interval. So every second I want to send something over. And I can do io.emit image, and then I'll say some data. So what we did here is every second, we're just going to do a public broadcast to anyone who's connected to our server, and we're going to send them our image data. Now, to get that working on the client side, we first need to include the socket IO library. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy paste something I have on my clipboard already. And this is basically the socket IO 211 uh, library that is on the CDN.js website. So by simply including that script, we now have access to do um, io.connect. So I'm going to do io.connect on localhost 3000, which is where our server should be running. And then I want to listen to that image event. So socket.on image. I'm just going to print out what data is at this point just to kind of show what's going on. And I'll save that file and restart my server just in case. All right, so now every second, remember that the server is publishing that image event with some data as a string. And our client is listening to that image event here and then simply calling a callback when it gets the data and console logging it. Cool, so step two of the whole process is done. The final step is we need to include OpenCV and start reading from my webcam, right? And it's actually pretty easy. So I'm just gonna go up here and just say const cv is equal to OpenCV for Node.js. And that's going to import the OpenCV library for us to use. The next step is we need to create a video capture object. So I can say const wcap is equal to new cv.video capture. And this takes an argument, and the argument that we pass is going to be the ID of the webcam or video capture device that we want to listen to. So in this case, if I do zero, that is my face cam um, webcam that you're looking at right now in the bottom right of the screen. Okay, so we have a video capture device here. The next step is every second or so we need to read from it and then send it over socket IO. So down here in our set interval where we're doing that, we could just do const frame is equal to cv.read. Or sorry, not cv.read, um, wcap.read. So that will read an image from our video capture device every second. And then we simply want to base64 encode it. I'll say const image is equal to cv image encode, encode it as a JPEG, and then pass the image that we want to encode. And I'm going to say encode to base64. And then finally, we could just send that over wire here. And just for some information, you can look at the OpenCV docs um, for this library. But WCAP read is going to return a mat object, which is basically like a matrix that represents your image. So a lot of the things that you deal with in OpenCV are going to be mat objects, and a lot of the helper functions are going to require that mat object. Um, there's probably other ways to stream an image over the wire instead of using base64, but this is just a super simple approach. Um, so where are we? We have the image being caught every second. We send it over the wire. The last step is we need to display that image, right? So inside our callback, when we get an image, all we need to do is just grab that image DOM element and update the source to point to a new base64 image. So I can say document.get element by ID and pass it the image string. And then I can do image.source is equal to, and this is how you do a base64 inside an image DOM element. You do data colon image, the type, so JPEG. And then the, I think the encoding type, so base64. And then we pass it the image data here. So let me rename this to image and let me save that. Hopefully, if I restart my server here, everything should work. Image has already been declared. Oh. So a little, I renamed the same constant, so that was my bad. Cool. So if you see here on the top right, we have my webcam every second. It's posting an image, and this page is going to fetch it from our server.
Um, before I finish up, there's a couple of helpful like functions you can pass in as properties to video capture. But, like right now, it's um, pretty big. So what I can do is do wcap.set. I can pass it a constant, which is part of the OpenCV library, and make it a set width of 300 and a set height of 300. So if I save that, refresh my page, notice that the image is going to be scaled down a little bit. And then additionally, if you wanted to make it go a little bit quicker, I could make a, a FPS constant and say, let's say 10 frames per second, and then simply divide this by my frames per second to have this refresh at a faster rate. Okay. So looking pretty good now. I could change this to 30 to make it a lot more cleaner, um, but it might start messing up with my recording because it's using more CPU. Cool. So you can take all this information and kind of expand upon it and build something really cool out of this if you want to. You could maybe like keep track of let's stop this stuff. You probably like keep track of all the images in a database and then create a cool UI to like go back and look them up if you're feeling of interest. But this was just kind of a quick overview video of how you might use all these different technologies to read from your webcam and display it on a server. Cool. Hope you found this tutorial interesting and helpful. Thanks for watching.